Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about some unique vanilla fragrances. Whenever I'm in the mood for vanilla, but I don't wanna smell anything too sweet, too girly girly, too frou frou la la, I'm reaching for one of these fragrances. I'm not saying they're unisex or masculine or anything like that because we have some very feminine fragrances on this list. However, they're vanilla, but they're unique. They're either citrusy, spicy, woody. They just have a lot more going on with them than just the vanilla note. So if you're interested in some unique vanilla fragrances, then please continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content, leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other, and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. So let's start off with Goldfield & Banks Silky Woods. Guys, this fragrance is a vanilla fragrance and you definitely smell the vanilla. The vanilla pushes through. However, this fragrance also has a suede accord. This fragrance is also slightly woody. It has a creamy accord and it's also spicy. So if you love your vanilla fragrances with more depth and more character, then this fragrance is perfect for you. I would say this is a unisex scent. Unisex leaning, it's not leading anywhere, okay? This one is unisex in my opinion. A man can wear it and pull it off. A woman can wear it. It doesn't give me masculine vibes. However, it's not frou-frou la la, overly feminine. So if you're somebody that doesn't like to smell any woody notes, any spicy notes, any suede or anything like that in your fragrances, then stay away from this one because this is definitely gonna give you more depth than just the vanilla. So in this fragrance, it opens up with cinnamon. Then we have saffron and suede. There's oud, ylang ylang, jasmine, tahitian vanilla. There's sandalwood, tobacco leaf, musk, and olibanum. I told y'all, this is much more than a vanilla fragrance. However, although you smell the cinnamon, the saffron, the oud, the other woody notes and everything that this fragrance has going on, the vanilla is there pushing through. I'm telling y'all, you definitely smell the vanilla in this fragrance. It is such a beautiful fragrance. It's regal, it's classy, it's elegant. You can dress this up. It's perfect to wear on its own. You can layer with this fragrance. It is such a stunner for me in my collection and I love having it. Silky Woods by Goldfield and Banks. I recently featured this next fragrance in a ginger fragrances video that I did, but this is very much a vanilla fragrance. The next fragrance on the list is by Nishani and it is Ani. This right here, y'all, I'm not gonna spend too much time because I talk about this fragrance a lot, especially around this time of the year. You can wear this fragrance all year round because I definitely do. However, it's perfect for the fall season. It's spicy, it's vanilla, it's aromatic, it's a little woody like the Silky Woods fragrance, but it's more spicy than woody. I love it. You have to love ginger and you have to love a green fresh opening because that's what you're gonna get with this fragrance. Although you definitely smell the vanilla, but it is a unique vanilla. It's unisex and I'm gonna say it's unisex leaning masculine, but when I wear it, I don't feel like a man. <laughs> I still feel feminine. I layer with this fragrance, but I can wear it on its own. I love wearing it on its own, but I feel like if you're somebody who loves very, very sweet, very, very pretty girly, girly kind of fragrances, this one ain't gonna be for you. You're gonna be struggling with this one, all right, sis? So stay away from this one. Maybe your man gonna like it and maybe you'll love it on him. But for you, it may be a little bit too much, but I love it. Ani by Nishani. Okay, I got y'all. If you wanna smell feminine, but you still wanna smell unique with your vanilla fragrances, don't worry because Queenin by Mind Games has you covered. This fragrance right here, y'all, is feminine, okay? In my opinion, I feel like it's a feminine scent. However, everybody's opinion is gonna be different, so don't take my word for it. But for me, it is definitely a feminine scent. You smell the vanilla, there's also saffron in this fragrance, but the saffron is very smooth, it's very light, it's very airy, it's not overly spicy. It's nothing like the Nishani and it's nothing like the Silky Woods. This fragrance opens up with Oris, there's vanilla, there's aged rum, and there's saffron. Now, the rum in this fragrance for me isn't super loud, it's not super prominent, it's not super boozy. Honestly, if I didn't read the rum note, 
I probably wouldn't be smelling the rum. You know what I'm saying? Like just knowing that it's in there, I'm like, okay, I guess I can smell it, but it's not prominent to my nose. So if I didn't know rum was in here, for me personally, I wouldn't be able to pick it up. So if you're into a nice vanilla fragrance, very smooth, feminine, but definitely has depth, then Queen and by Mind Games is for you. Okay guys, so if you're into white floral fragrances, if you're into a little citrus, a little powdery, a little creamy vanilla, then Trey Share by My Sincere is for you. This is an easy fragrance. You can wear this every single day. This can be a signature scent for someone who wants to wear a fragrance that is beautiful and feminine, but it's not gonna stand out too much. You know what I'm saying? It's still a beautiful scent, but it doesn't have that wow factor, but it's still a pretty scent. You can wear it to work. You can wear it every day. If you work in the hospital, you can wear it. You can wear it if you're working around a bunch of people in close corners or close encounters with people, you can wear it. It's not an offensive fragrance. It is a beautiful feminine fragrance, not too sweet. If you're not into sweet vanilla fragrances, you'll love this. Very grown, very sexy, very classy, very versatile, can be a signature scent, but it's not gonna shake the table. It's not gonna cause a ruckus. You're not breaking any necks with this fragrance. You're just going to be known as smelling good. <laughs> Trey Share by My Sincere. Next up is a fragrance that I've been talking about since the start of my channel. And I feel like every time I talk about it, I have to tussle in the comment section with somebody. Somebody always has something to say about this fragrance, but I don't care. I love it. It is beautiful. It is classy. It is sophisticated and it is none other than Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. This fragrance is the most beautiful vanilla and lavender fragrance ever, okay? Period, point blank. Super classy, super sophisticated, compliment magnets, okay? When I tell you every time, maybe not every single time, but most times when I wear this fragrance, I get complimented. People smell it. It is not a beast mode, punching anybody in the face fragrance, but trust me, people will smell you, especially if you spray like I spray, okay? If you know how to spray, then people will definitely smell you. So in this fragrance, there's bergamot, there's mandarin, there's pear, there's neroli, and a lot of people don't like neroli, but I'm gonna tell you that in this fragrance, the neroli is not prominent. Everything is just blended to perfection. What stands out to my nose is the vanilla and the lavender. And when I tell you, I am not a fan of lavender, okay? I'm not gonna say I hate it, but when I think of lavender or when I read lavender in a note breakdown, I'm not like, oh, it has lavender, I wanna go smell it. I'm like, oh, we got that lavender. Let me see what she gonna do in this fragrance, child. That's how I am with lavender. But in this fragrance, it is so beautiful. It is so elegant. It is so classy, so sophisticated, so womanly. This fragrance is not for a Gen Z, okay? Like, Gen Z ain't gonna understand this fragrance right here. I mean, it is such a gorgeous fragrance. It is so classy, so pretty, and the vanilla and lavender is everything to me, okay? Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. Next up, we have one of my absolute favorites, if not favorite, spicy vanilla fragrance. This is by Tom Ford and this is Vinny Fatal. And when I tell you, I am obsessed with this scent. It smells so good. Around this time of the year, I reach for this and I spray it and I get so happy. It is so sexy. This right here is a head turner. This right here is gonna cause a ruckus. This gonna shake the table, okay? This one right here is the one. This is a date night. I'm putting it on. I wanna make an impression with my fragrance. I wanna smell like the season. I wanna smell like the holidays. I'm wearing a sweater, a turtleneck, a scarf, a leather jacket, a blazer. It's cold outside, all right? It's in the 50s and below. This fragrance right here is top tier. I love it. It opens up with saffron, there's coriander, there's frangipani, there's coffee absolute, there's mahogany, roasted barley, there's vanilla, myrrh, olibanum. It is such a gorgeous fragrance. And the vanilla in this fragrance is definitely kicking and this fragrance is definitely unique. Vinny Fatal by Tom Ford. Okay, so if you love rose in your fragrance, if you love sweet, sugary vanilla fragrances, Rose's Vinny by Mansara is for you. When I tell you, this is such a beautiful, fun, frou-frou la la, feminine, flirty fragrance. It is so sweet, it is so gorgeous. This right here is a man magnet, okay? 
This right here is a man magnet. Let me say it again for the people in the back that didn't hear me. This is a gorgeous fragrance, okay? You must love rose because you definitely smell the rose. But for all of you rose haters that say rose smells like granny and this, that, the third, rose is old and whatever, whatever. This rose right here is top tier. It does not smell dated. It does not smell old. It just smells fun and youthful and flirty and frou frou la la and feminine and all the things, okay? Trust me when I tell you. This opens up with lemon and although it's super sweet, I feel like the lemon in this fragrance is needed to kinda cut through and make it not as sweet because this actually has sugar and it actually has vanilla. So the lemon just kinda balances it out and makes it not overly sweet, although it's super sweet. There's water notes, there's rose, sugar, vanilla, there's sugar again, okay? White musk and cedar. And trust me when I tell you, the cedar in this fragrance isn't there to make it smell woody because you don't get any woodiness from this fragrance. The cedar is just holding it up and cradling all those super, super sweet, sugary vanilla notes. This is a feminine, frou la la, flirty, girly, young, fun fragrance that can be worn all year round. It's super long lasting, it projects, I mean, I can say nothing but great things about this fragrance. Roses Vini by Mansara. Only Kayali could have given us a vanilla and oud fragrance that smells so feminine, so frou frou la la, and so divine. This is slightly gourmand. To me, like I said, it's feminine, but it definitely has depth. It's unique, it's not super sweet. It is the opposite of Vanilla 28. Well, let me see, because Vanilla 28 is overly sweet. This is not like overly bitter or overly woody or anything like that, but it just has more depth than Vanilla 28. It has more layers than Vanilla 28. It is one of my favorite Kayali fragrances and I have all Kayali fragrances, anything they ever made, I have it. And this is in my top five because it is so regal. It has oud, but the oud is done so beautiful. It's sweet, it's creamy, it's elegant. It is just a regal fragrance. And I'm so glad Kayali made this because this is a vanilla oud that people that are trying to get into oud, you can love this fragrance. I feel like you can appreciate this fragrance. It's not harsh, it's not sharp, it's not in your face. It is just gorgeous, okay? In this fragrance, we have praline, saffron, pear, Bulgarian rose, vanilla. There is vanilla sugar, cashmere wood, oud, oak moss. It is such a regal scent. It's like gourmand, but you don't wanna bite yourself, but it's definitely yummy. It has like a yummy quality to it. It's creamy, it's smooth. It is just perfection and I absolutely love it. Vanilla Oud by Kayali. Next up, we have Altair by Parfum de Marly. Now guys, when this fragrance first came out, before I saw the notes, I had no interest in this fragrance. Well, not for me. Maybe for Bay, but not for me. Because I love a good unisex fragrance. However, when the fragrance is marketed towards men, if it's targeted towards men, like this is for the men, I have no interest in it. And I keep it pushing and I'm okay with that. But then Parfum Samarly released the notes of this fragrance. And I was like, hmm. The notes of this sounds very much unisex, if not unisex leaning feminine. So I was like, you know what? Let me go down to Nordstrom and check this fragrance out. First of all, I love the color, okay? I love the color of the bottle. The bottle screams fall, right? And I smelled this fragrance and I was like, what? Why didn't they put this bottle, this juice with this color in the woman's bottle shape? Cause I love the Parfums of Marley women's bottles. That would be such a vibe y'all, but okay, whatever. They gave it to us in the men's line and I'm not mad at it because I love this fragrance. This fragrance has cardamom, bergamot, cinnamon, orange blossom, bourbon vanilla, praline, musk, ambroxan, and guyac wood. To me, y'all, this fragrance is feminine. It's unisex, but it's unisex leaning more feminine. This is such a sexy vanilla fragrance. What? It is so gorgeous. Perfect for the fall and winter. Perfect for evenings, date nights, special occasions. You can layer. I layered this with Vanilla Oud by Kayali. And when I tell you, I got so many compliments at the Yum Pistachio party. Was it last year, maybe? Last fall, I believe. Y'all, 
that combination right there is wicked fire. It is everything, okay? You can layer this with so many other fragrances because it's basically a woody gourmand vanilla. So, I mean, the possibilities are so endless with this fragrance. I love it, okay? It is not a safe flying by. And for you ladies who love Fru Fru La La feminine fragrances, try this out. But I feel like you'll love it because, I mean, I don't like masculine scents. I do, however, love a good unisex fragrance because sometimes on your body chemistry, it'll read differently than how it reads on a piece of paper. You know what I'm saying? And don't just look at the notes because sometimes the notes can be very deceptive. But this one right here, y'all, I love it. And I will always buy this. I bought this one, okay? This one, unfortunately, is not sold on soavantgarde.com, not yet. But um, if they ever get it, I want a backup bottle because yeah, I love this. Altair by Parfum Zamarli. Okay guys, so this last vanilla fragrance, in my opinion, is the more unique out of all the fragrances that we talked about today. But when I tell you, it is so necessary. It is so beautiful. This is by Quinto Canto, V Canto, and this is Mirabile. This is a milky, lactonic, creamy, spicy, boozy vanilla point blank and the period. And you smell all of those aspects in this fragrance. You smell the rum, you smell the milky, creamy, lactonic, you smell the vanilla, you smell the spices. It is such a regal vanilla fragrance. I love it. Last forever on the skin. It projects, well, okay, let me say this. Because somebody asked me the other day if a fragrance, a particular fragrance projected. And I will say, when it comes to projection and longevity and basically anything about a fragrance, it is all subjective. It all goes down to you, your environment, your body chemistry, how you spray, your skin type, your diet. I mean, so many factors go into whether or not the fragrance is gonna project on you. If somebody sprays their wrist, right? Just one little spray right here and they rub it together and it um, broke down all the notes and the top notes and everything in the fragrance and they get dressed and put on a sweater and everything is, you know, their wrist is being covered by the garments. I mean, I don't know how much that's gonna project on you, y'all. Like, I don't know if anybody's gonna smell that. I don't even know if you gonna smell that. However, if you spray your fragrance all over your skin, all over your clothes, even on your coats, then obviously it's going to project. You're gonna have more fragrance on you. So when the wind blows, when people come around you, they will smell you, you will smell you, the fragrance will project. So all of that is very, very subjective. This fragrance right here is a beast, okay? It is a beast on its own, yes. Do you have to spray that much? No but I do and it doesn't bother me. So some people will be overwhelmed by this fragrance because it is so heavy and it's such a powerful fragrance that you might not wanna overspray this fragrance. However, me, I have a high tolerance when it comes to fragrances. So yeah, I love it, y'all. Like I said, it's boozy, it's milky, it's creamy, it's lactonic. You smell the vanilla. For me, it's unisex. It's unisex leaning more feminine in my opinion, okay? Mirabile by Vicanto. All right guys, we made it to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some unique vanilla fragrances that I need to try. Let's talk about it below like we always do. Be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.